Well, hello and welcome. Here we are back again. And from last time, we went through this layout here, bringing everything into, into inside containers and dealing with with floats and elements going outside the floats. Now the next thing we need to work on is getting this menu working. And I thought I might start with the mobile version of the menu. So we need to sort of turn this into something a bit more presentable. So let's take a moment and think about what we're going to do here. We need to have a menu button and this is going to drop down. Having the menu button, when you click on it, will, will cause a cause this to drop down. And we can do that with a JavaScript sort of toggle function. We'll do that. But in the meantime, let's just um, get everything sort of set up. Here we are in VS Code, and let's open up the files that we need to to deal with. Now. Um, looking in our resources folder and I should mention I've moved all these all the components out of separate folders and simplified it down just to sort of make it all sort of all under one thing so that should hopefully simplify things uh, a bit better and probably not necessary to have all the folders because this isn't going to be a huge project something to consider if it was bigger. So we're going to need our navigation which is conveniently quite blank at the moment. We're going to need our functions PHP. So we're going to be using that to pull in our JavaScript later. And we also need a couple of template files. We'll just fold that up and go into our templates. Our base file for everything and our navigation. Which is a menu. Um, something you notice that's quite I quite like of this is the recursion in it. It's including itself here with the, with the child items. A nice little um, piece of coding here, which was done by the people who made the timber starter theme, not me. <laughs> okay, go to our base, and where is it? is our navigation here. Alright, so we need a, um, a menu button, don't we? And here we have one, I've just sort of set that up with, I've given a class of menu button, just menu, it's in a div tag, and I've got ID for JavaScript to toggle it. We also need to put this menu inside a div as well, and that's going to be menu list. Uh, the list will be inside here, so we'll just call this menu block. Okay. And we also need an ID in here. Toggle some toggle that um, menu class uh, ID All right, and we'll pull that down into here, and let's just do a tidy. No, I don't like that. Let's do that. Okay, what does that give us? That should give us, yeah, menu, menu here, complete, completely unstyled, 
if we go to uh, look at look at our um, our HTML, uh, I just did a control U to sort of bring up the code here. We have there's our header, there's our logo, there's our menu button, a menu block, and all the sort of standard sort of WordPress type stuff that you'd expect in here. Right, so let's let, let's just do our button. Something nice and simple to start with. So we go to our navigation CSS and menu button. And what's the menu button going to need? It's going to need a border. Solid and make it white. Give it a um, little bit of padding. Let's just try 0.25 rim and no width. Five rim, five m. Sorry, and um, let's just see how that looks. I've got gulp running in the background. Uh, should have transferred that over. Okay, so we'll go back to here and do a refresh. And we've got. Um, Menu probably just sent to that. I'll just do a text and line center. Next um, big thing is our menu block. At the moment, I'm just going to give it a border just so we can sort of see where things are. And the old favourite of red. Make that list style, sorry. Now, I don't think that's going to work because so we haven't given assigned a menu list, have we? Let's just have a look in our menu. No. Yeah, class equals menu list. Let's just have a look and see what that's done. Yes, got rid of those. Let's deal with the the spacing and whatnot now. Oh, I've just added a little bit of margin and padding here, and I've also put a green border around the menu list class so we can sort of see where everything is. So let's just take a look and see what we've got. Yep. Here we go. Got of that's getting uh, getting us there. Next thing we need to do is probably play around with the size of these targets because they're going to be a bit small if you're a fat fingered or a terrible typist like me. You you, you put this onto a phone. You haven't got a hope in catching that. So let's make that a bit bigger and. Um, We'll get rid of those ugly lines. And the other thing we need to do is take this box outside the flow. I'll deal with the margins themselves by making the links a little bit bigger. And let's save that and let's see what we can get. Yeah, I think that's 
a little better. We might experiment with that sort of further on. Now we need to take this out, out, of, the, out of it. So um, that's position relative and a position absolute to do that. Okay, I just opened up the DevTools part of Firefox and sort of to help us sort of work out what's going to go where. Now we have the menu button that's going to be triggering our, our, our visibility state in of the menu block. So that's why we've got um, menu button and menu block here in, in wrapped with IDs. Now we also have a class up here nav main. Now na nav main is going to be the the relative part so this menu block uh, the absolute position is going to be relative to, to this so parent element child element so we need a, a nav main and it's going to be position relative and the menu block is going to be position absolute, which is not on the list. Now let's have a look and see what that's done. Taken it out like we like we wanted. Need to do something about the alignment, and we also need to fix up the background color. And I think we also need to deal with the width. We've got some, yeah, image alignments or take. Yeah, that's not going to work on a phone. We need we we can go a bit wider than that on there. Uh, how about we sort that stuff out and save you painfully watching me painfully type painfully painfully I've gone gone ahead, jumped ahead and done this so background color is a variable the glaucus may remember we did a whole bunch of variables in our in our base the um, base setup for our colors and what have you so that, that's where that comes from so using CSS variables with uh, in a position absolute I've now changed aligned it to the right um, yeah, to the right sort of relative to the nav main up here given it a width of around about 20 rem and also a Z index to sort of make it sort of stack on top of the page as well and this is what we now have so that's lining up how how we how i want it to line up next thing we want to do is make this disappear and that's relatively easy to do we'll, we'll just do a transform translate and something else i should probably do is make this link you know make the cursor change when there's a hover over it to alert users that this actually will do something and maybe a bit of padding around this menu button as well All right so we'll do our um, cursor and we'll make that pointer and just let, look, look, look how it works with the padding later. Now to make it disappear, we need to deal with this block here. So what I've done here is just a, a rotate along the, the x-axis, 90 degrees. So it's just going to be sort of from all intents and purposes sort of sitting upright so we won't see it. And to make it visible, we're going to do a class called menu open. And 
and what we'll do here is we'll reverse that transformation. Okay, got that, and let's go back to our dev tools. We won't. I'll just refresh the page. Won't actually see anything there. Let's duck down into our menu part. Down menu block. And we'll insert the class in here. I've made a stupid mistake, haven't I? Indeed, I have zero to reset that. So all that's doing is doing exactly the same thing. Oh well. Right, let's see if we've got it now. We'll do a refresh. Yep, and we'll add that menu open class in there. Move away. Yep, perfect. Probably going to have to tidy up the animation, and I think the transform actually goes from the middle, so we'll have to change the origin to up the top. But I think the next thing to do is let, let's start, let's just do our toggle. Okay, so we'll go to our resources.js folder, create a just create a file in here, new file, and call that menu JS. And I'm just going to paste some code in here. Now, you've seen this before in previous videos. Um, I used it in the winter CMS version, it does exactly the same job. We've set up a constant call menu button, which is from that ID for menu button. We've got a constant for the menu list. And what that's equal to is querying the menu button selector and querying the menu list selector. We've got a very simple function here with menu list and it's toggling the class menu open. And with menu button just set up an event listener it's listening for a click and when there's a click it runs the toggle menu function so very very simple now if my gulp files the gulp watch is doing the right thing it should be watching the javascript folder and there should be um, there we go we've got a javascript folder here and we've got a minified scripts here. We've also got an empty folder here. I'm not sure where that's come from. But I'll just get rid of that. A scripts main. If I look at that, scripts main. It's already minified it all down for us beforehand. So what, what Gulp's doing is anything that's in the JS folder here, it's just going to crunch it all together and and zip it all up into a smaller file. Next thing to do is add this into WordPress. Now the simplest and dirty way to do it would be to just um, whack it in down here. But WordPress actually has a proper way of, of doing that and that's through loading functions. So what we're going to need to do is going through our timber timber thing here, we're going to need to add it add it in up here and we'll create a function that, that pulls that particular style sheet in. And to save you having to watch me do that, here's one I prepared earlier. 
Now let's go through sort of what this does. It's a function called Load Scripts. It's using the WordPress NQ function, and it's pulling in. I've just assigned a name of menu. It's going to the Get Template Directory UI. So it's grabbing, grabbing it from and from from our from our theme directory and inside our template and it's grabbing the assets js scripts mini and add, adding that into it but we also need to tell wordpress to load this function and that's done by going up here to where it's loading our things and into our constructor and in, into here loading that loading that in there And let's see if that's worked. Well, that doesn't look too good. It's not loading stuff up, is it? What have I done? Alright, let's have a look. I've taken out the parent. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> Kill the parents. Not a good. Not a good look. Okay. So control Z. Bring that back to how it was. Yep. Leave that there because we need that. And yeah. yeah let's have a look. Let's see. That's looking more like it. Now that's not triggering for some reason. What's going on here? And of course there's something screamingly obvious. This ID is called menu block and in my men menu JS it's menu list. So let's just fix that up. And we'll fix this one up too. And let's head back to here. Do a refresh. Oh, I'm still, still missing something. Okay, let's see how that works. We'll refresh that. And yeah. Use the right variables. Always helps. Now, um, next thing to do, put a bit of a transition on that. And I think I'm going to have to fix up the animation and make the button, give the button a bit of space. We'll put a transition in here. Transition, yep, we'll do, it, do it on everything. And what we'll do, we'll make it, uh, we'll just do ease, uh, raise. <laughs> and 300 milliseconds is probably good. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's folding from the bottom. Makes for an interesting effect. It's not the effect I want. So we can set the coordinates for transforming that. And so we'll just just paste it in Tra transform origin so it's doing it from the top left of it um, let's have a look and see how that works and we'll just refresh the page 
Yeah, that's what I wanted. Nice one. Let's tidy this menu up and get rid of these um, god awful colours. So all I've done here in the menu buttons, I've added a margin to the top and got, got rid of those borders that we didn't really need. Save that. Head back to our site. And yeah. That'll do for now. So that's our mobile menu sorted. Still need to do a menu for larger devices. Those those that are for screens, one those that have a hover state. We'll keep this for ones that don't have a don't have a hover state. And yeah, I think that'll do for now. And um, thank you for watching. Hope you've got something out of this. And if you have, you can like, subscribe, leave a comment if you like. And I'll see you in the next one.